So did you have an affinity for Frank Gifford or what? I kind of liked Frank Gifford. What about Frank did you like? And, uh, well, when I was growing up, when he was doing Monday Night Football, he was critical of a lot of people, and it seemed like he always claimed they had bad knees. It always struck me funny that all these guys had bad knees. I think for me, um, I just had other people that I knew that were doing it and having a great time doing that, getting up on stage and uh, not just people doing original stuff, but the guys doing covers too. Everybody was having a great time. My first experience with the idea of wanting to play live music, uh, uh, I was probably a sophomore in high school and I was invited to a, a college party and, uh, and this uh, room is just full of people and uh, a good friend of mine was uh, actually one just picked up an acoustic guitar and he drew the crowd to his corner of the room and he held them until he got tired of playing. You know, he, he really brought the party to his side of the room. I was the big Dwight Yoakam fan, so the, the Heartbreak Ballads uh, really struck with me. Um, but then in some of the, the rock and roll that I was following, uh, I was really uh, getting into, uh, there's still stuff that had been out for a while, but I was just discovering it. But uh, I even liked Van Morrison quite a bit uh, and Bob Seger. I listened to a lot of Bob Seger about that same time. Uh, I get a lot of... Uh, Bob Dylan actually, which I did listen to some Bob Dylan when I was really absorbing all kinds of music, um, and, but that's not really, a, I can't say I'm a fan, I appreciate what, he, what he's doing and how it goes, but I, I think people call it that because that's the only thing they can identify folk with uh, a lot of times. Yeah, to me, you've got a little John Prine in you. Yeah, I hear that. Um, I've heard people uh, compare uh, my lyrics to Jimmy Buffett lyrics. Uh, and I didn't know how to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to take that either. I, mean, I will say people are having a good time in this show. Well, that's true. That's, so hopefully it's the where it's coming from. So what's the name of the song? This is called Memory Song. And what's it about? And I, I think it's something everybody has done at one time or another. They hear a song on the radio or, or in the grocery store or, or wherever, and... Uh, it just triggers one little memory for just a split second there, and it's uh, that whole song has that value for that one memory. I heard a song on the radio in the distance And through the noise I strained to listen To all the words I didn't want to hear And a memory song caught me today A song caught me today I walked around with my head in the clouds With all of your flashbacks all around And a memory song caught me today A song caught me today Out of the blue between the eyes the touch of your skin and the look in your eyes and a memory sound caught me today a song caught me today like ice on the stairs or a silent train it took the wind right out of me with and warning and a memory sound caught me today Song caught me today Out of the blue Between the eyes The touch of your skin And the look in your eye And a memory Song caught me today A song caught me today Were you somewhere? Did you hear it too? Did you sing it out loud and a memory song caught me today? A song caught me today Out of the blue, between the eyes The touch of your skin and the look in your eye And a memory song caught me today Song caught me today. I 
But I sung on the radio in the distance That's awesome. Thank you. This one is called Mind My Asking. Mind My Asking, what's yep. it about? That is, uh, is inspired by a really good friend of mine. Uh, we were had uh, been uh, pretty close and then we just kind of lost touch and then just as the things worked out, uh, we both moved back into our hometown and ended up being neighbors for a while and uh, uh, I'll say just and actually it wasn't so much our relationship as just something she said in conversation one day just kind of inspired the whole song after the fact. That's funny, she she inspired a couple of songs. Yes she? she did. <laughs> It's a beautiful night, and where are you? I saw you today in your bikini. Dirty feet, sunburned shoulders, living without a care. But you don't care. And so, if you don't mind my asking. Do you ever think that you could see something in me? Cause I sure see something in you Tell me about that time when you were running wild Tell me about that day you lost your license How the cop took you to jail Or how you felt like hell but what the hell And so oh, if you don't mind my asking Do you ever think that you could see something in me Cause I sure see something in you Sitting on your porch and talking about the old Wine and smoking. How's your dog heard from you? Where has Cindy gone? It's been so long. And so, if you don't mind my asking, do you ever think that you could see something in me? Cause I sure see something in you. Just kind of the the good feeling, the high of being first in love, the floating on air type of thing, and how everything seems possible. Is that a feeling you remember? Yes, absolutely. Did you have to pull on that for the for most of your songs? Because your songs are mostly about relationships. Yeah, and uh, absolutely. Um, as far as exactly which relationship now, I don't quite remember. The song has been around for a good while now. <laughs> Up the airy mountain, down the rushing glen Through the streets of soul, miles high in Colorado To Montreal, to Honolulu I've never met a girl like you and if I never get to heaven, if I never see the ocean, at least I'll die knowing you were loving me, loving me, living free, loving me, loving you. Up the rolling mountain, through the deepest valley, you are the thing that I've always dreamed of. And here you are, a dream come true Finally realized a dream come true And if I never get to heaven, if I never see the ocean At least I'll die knowing you were loving me, loving me Living free, loving me, loving you And if I never get to heaven, if I never see the ocean At least I'll die knowing you were loving me, loving me Living free, loving me, loving you.
Saturday Mountain. Thanks for being on songshow.org. Hey, thank you for having me. This has been great. Roses are easy to pick. Friends are a little tougher. A horse at the track is the toughest of all. Sometimes you're on top of the world, but mostly mediocre. And sometimes you're destined to take the foul. But I wanted you to know With me You could have done a whole lot worse This song show video extra is made possible through the generous support of Tropicana Evansville offering casino gaming, nine dining options, and live entertainment nightly. Learn more at tropevansville.com Production support is from More Music, a destination music store on Evansville, Indiana's east side. The world needs more music. And by Relox, a dietary supplement promoting hair, skin, and nail health. Learn more at Relox.com.